Hi everybody, it's TT Rat. I hope you're having a beautiful night. Um, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. I wanted to talk about detachment. Detachment from the world and all these worldly things. It's almost like a... You have to detach because it's almost like a prerequisite if you want to have any spiritual growth. And it's very important. We have to realize in life that material things are not important. They are nice to have. I will not judge anyone. and I, I am not the judge and jury. If someone has a brand new car, someone has a big house, someone, God bless them. God bless them. And I hope that they all enjoy it. I hope that anyone who's living in a big home, who has designer clothes, who has you know, this and that and the other thing that you are enjoying it. You work hard. You deserve, you deserve that. But what I'm trying to say is to get to the kingdom of God, you have to do more than that. You know, working hard is a good thing. It's a blessing. You provide for your family. And that that is something that the Lord sees and the Lord wants you to do. You keep food on the table. You keep your family clothed. You have a roof over their head. That's, that is a blessing. That's all. Anything that we have is a blessing from God. Anything. One piece of bread. One apple. One banana. One box of cereal. That is a blessing from God. A Cadillac a big house, a swimming pool. Those are all blessings from God up above. We just have to remember to stay humble. Stay humble through all of that and keep on the right path towards the Lord. When good things happen, we still have to remember the Lord. The Lord has given us all of those quote unquote good things, nice things. It's not us, it's him. It is him. So we have to be very grateful. We have to stay humble. We have to always, you know, say a prayer and say, thank you, you know, thank you, Lord, for what you have given me in my life. But you always have to remember it's extremely important. You have to detach yourself from materialistic things. If you want to have spiritual growth, you have to detach yourself from materialistic things and big shotism. A lot of people have big shotism and they have, then they get egos. And when you have an ego, E-G-O, e, that means you are easing God out. And again, I am not begrudging anyone who has beautiful things. Believe me, I'm not. I'm just trying to keep it real and say, you know, what's important? What is important? God will love you no matter what you have. If you have nothing or you have everything, God is love. And that's the way it will always remain. He will never judge you for having beautiful things, but he will look at you if you forget him and he will say, you know, he will be up there praying, you know, child, please come back to me. So when you're out there having fun and you're bar hopping and you're in your car and you're driving and you're spending your money and you're doing this and you're doing that, please don't forget him. Please don't forget him. A prayer doesn't have to mean that you get on your knees and, you know, you say the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You could be driving in your car and say a prayer. Even if it's a few words, God, I love you and thank you for everything you have done for me. I am devoted to you. You could be in the shop, right? You could be in the CVS. You could be just taking a walk on the beach. You could be sitting outside on a chair. You could talk to God anytime you want. So I hope you all 
got something out of this. And again, you know, I am not judging anyone. I am just passing on my thoughts. They're just my thoughts. That's all that they are. And you can like them or you can not like them. That's okay. But I just, you know, pray for everyone. And I, I really want everyone to get right with the Lord. Get right with the, with the Lord before it's too late. Realize what is important in life. He is, you know, from the light. He is the light and he is love. So everybody, God bless you. I wish you a wonderful night. May you be safe. May your families be safe. And remember, always take care of your pets and do the very best you can every day to live in the Lord's light. God bless you. Amen.